everybody, this is Robin Moses and I'm here with the Evil Client and we are going to do a neon no water marble. I'm starting with a wet and wild black that's just a plain 99 cent color. This is called Booty Shaker and it's by Bonita and you can buy it at Rite Aid for $1.50. Um, I have an OPI orange called Pants on Fire. I have a Claire's yellow and it's called Sunshine. And I have the OPI blue called, here we go, Correctamundo. And so, that uh, the, the OPIs are from the True Neon Collection, and I'm using my liner brush that you can buy at Robin Moses Brushes at yahoo.com for anybody interested. This is a real thin black coat, and I took a liner brush and went around the cuticles to make sure it was nice and even. And now the second coat is going to be liberal. And um, get that on there. Then with the white, you want to place your spots accordingly. The key to this design is to work fast and work with thinner polishes, especially with neons, because the neon is going to hit the white and just really bling out. So there's the, the pink, the orange, yellow, Boom! And blue, purple. Okay, so this is a big blobby mess. But if you spin it, and pull, and then take your finger, and pull off the excess. Take your finger, pull out the excess. Take your finger, pull off the excess. I want to try another one. That one isn't as good as I wanted. Here we go, let's try it another way. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to go in with a liberal amount of the black over the first coat. Then with white, I'm going to go in and make a V. Then I'm going to use the, the pink, orange, yellow, and blue. Then with my liner, pull through, pull through, pull through, pull through, pull through, through. Through. And then take your finger, take off the excess, pull the finger, take off the excess, pull your finger, take the excess, and that would be the beginning structure. Okay, on this one, I'm going to go through the middle white, go through the top, just barely hitting the white with the pink, go through with the orange, with the yellow, with the blue, and it, I know it looks blobby, but it, trust me on this, okay? Then you take your brush, pull up, pull up, Pull up. You'll start to see all the blobs going to the side. Then pull down. Go into that black and pull the black down. Pull the black down. Then take your finger, take the sides off. Take your finger, take the sides off. And it's okay if you pull some of the color off and leave it white, and I'll show you why in a minute. But for now, you're getting all that out, and then you get a very bright, basic beginning. Okay, so now you see that there's a lot of white areas and patches that I pulled off that isn't clean or whatever, and so I take my yellow and I pour some onto the plate. Yellow is the best one for this design because it bridges both the pink and the, the blue. So I'm gonna go in over all of my whiter areas just with the yellow, and that neons them up. 
so that it looks more uh, organic. Then on this one, the same thing, and you can and you can be very uh, abstract painting because it's so dark the background and it just blends right in and it becomes a very cool looking uh, peacock design. I call this peacock marbling actually and turkey marbling because you can use them for turkeys at Thanksgiving. So yeah. <laughs> Trendsetter. <laughs> <laughs> I teach you how to paint a turkey. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to add some clear, um, I, I poured out some white glitter that reflects uh, pink. And I am mixing it. Here, move it, move it, move it. I'm mixing it over here and making a fantastic concoction that dries in six minutes because I actually use Dazzle Dry, duh. Don't mix your glitters with Dazzle Dry polish. You want lots of time. Okay, so the glitter over the top of this really, really brings them out and enhances the design. Okay, and here is the design. So you got three different ways to do this, and I actually like this one the most, and I really think that it would be awesome on all of them that way. I might do a full tutorial out of that. I'm not sure. I'm going to talk to Evil Client about it, but this is a good three nail tutorial that shows you how to mix um, neons and get an idea of... Of, of how to work over black and, and use white as a base because they're, I mean, they are really so bright. Let me throw a, a neon on there. I mean, a, let me throw a, see? So there you go. So that's, that's what they look like and they're just, they're just really cool. And so, anyways, I hope you guys learned a lot and enjoyed this and try them. And if you do, please show me at my fan page, Robin Moses Nail Art, or on Instagram, Robin Moses Nail Art too. See you back with more. Bye. Bye.